市川寛之助です、えっと、日本から来ました今四川大学で中国語を勉強しています最近読んだ一冊の本を紹介したいと思いますそれがこちらですこの本は山川総帥によって書かれた「破食」という本です Between March 1905 and June 1906, Yamakawa Sosue, the Japanese teacher at Sichuan Provincial School of Higher Education, the predecessor of Sichuan University, made a thorough tour of Chengdu, China in 1909. He published a book in Japan called Bashu, which recorded his experiences on that tour. これは清朝の時代、外国人が書いた中で、そして当時の中国国内で最も詳細に書かれた四川の旅行記でした。比較的に要従来経過したる書状中、未だ生徒のごときものあるを見ず、右の東大街に至りては延長数町に過ぎざれども、四天皇台、高剣霊草、遠藤隠るところの勝敗、長丹紳士、A hundred years ago, Yamakawa saw the East Street of the Financial Center of Southwest China, where the earliest paper currency, Jiaozi, was born. Since the Tang Dynasty, The flower fair at Qingyang Palace on the 15th day of the second lunar month every year had been the most expected event in the spring of Chengdu. 生徒60万人は言うもさらなり、金府金券より出かくる見物人にて、かねては寂しき金鉱下半も、人馬教運の絶え間なく、毛上げ散らす砂煙に、前後ろを見分かぬばかりなり For Yamakawa Sosue, the 1906 flower fair was going to be special because he would be saying goodbye to the city only two months later 明治三十九年六月十四日生徒を去り祈祷の都に登るこの子を一路孔による貝に暴行楼に下る送客諸子さらに一行のため最後の疎遠を張る午後7時半手を分かちて船に登る山川さんえ僕はあなたのいた100年後のそして同じ場所に立っています確かに今は生徒はすごい発達してビルが多いですが僕の後ろのタワーやそれから左の川それは変わってないと思います山川さん私は今生徒ですごく充実した毎日を送っています100年前あなたがいた時もすごい充実した日々を送っていたんではないかと思います Four years after Yamakawa Sosue left Chengdu in 1908 A famous British botanist made his second visit to Chengdu as a first stop on his search for flowers in Sichuan. The plain owes its abundant fertility to a complex and marvelous system of irrigation inaugurated some 2,100 years ago by a Chinese official named Li Bing and his son. Uh, From 1899 to 1911, the British man named Wilson came to China four times to collect plants. He went to the Hengduan Mountains in West Sichuan on three of his journeys.
he brought back over a thousand types of new plants from China, including Davidia involucrate, Mechanopsis integrifolia, and Lilium regale, which infused Western gardens with new vitality. His photos of Chengdu taken more than a hundred years ago have become treasured images for learning about Chengdu's past. The city is surrounded by a magnificent wall, some nine miles in circumference, with eight bastions pierced by four or five gates. The city is clean, orderly, with an efficient place to wander through the streets, noting the varied industries carry on is a liberal education in Chinese ways of doing things. In the future, as in the past, industry combined with agriculture skill will continue to win sustenance, derive wealth, influence and power from the fertile and beautiful region, the Garden of Western China. We can see the world of 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 the world. 看到和寻找到当时威尔逊所亲眼看到的这些美丽的生命。我叫冯辉，我在成都这个城市生活了接近五十年。我这几年主要的兴趣爱好是研究成都城市的围观历史。和历史影响。我现在手上有一本书，这本书是马悦然写的《另一种乡愁》。这本书里面记录了很多马悦然当时在成都生活的故事。我们现在在金陵路上来找一下马悦然当时他所反复所提到的一个地方，叫柯庄。The Swedish man Göran Malmqvist. Was a famous sinologist and one of 18 lifelong judges of Nobel Prize in Literature. He translated many Chinese literary works like The Water Margin, The Journey to the West, and most poems of Xin Qi Ji. In September 1949, 25 year old Goran moved to the faculty dormitory of West China Union University to learn Chinese. Yo 这个女孩子的父亲是陈新科，负责教育部的教育局的负责人。在搬到陈氏柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄，柯庄是英语老师的儿子柯庄。柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的柯庄的他妈妈逼他每天上午到我的房间来学习一个小时的英语。我在城里的一个铺子里买了美国 P X d o 所留下的几罐头可可粉儿。领主每一次来上课，我请他喝一碗可可。好在领主很喜欢喝可可，但是可可粉儿喝完了，他就逃学。
那么这条路是叫做中学路，这个整个这个区域也属于我们常说的华西坝的华西后坝这一片。那么这个区域应该说是，就是当年在马玉然在成都的时候居住过七个月的一个地方。哦，客庄现在已经变了嘛，变成一个居住的小区了。In his later years, Goren still regarded Chengdu as his second home. He and Chen Mingzu accompanied each other for 46 years. Chen died of illness in 1996. Goren passed away in October 2019. His entire life was closely associated with China. Every人以后的再久，你只能经历一种人生，但是你通过看书，对吧？你会经历不同的人生。那么你读马玉然这本书，你就仿佛你就经历了类似像马玉然老先生他当时的在成都的这么一段完整的这么一种经历，仿佛